Hi dear students, so today we are going to deal with a new chapter, Why do we fall ill? So first of all, let me ask you, what comes to your mind when you hear the lesson name, Why do we fall ill? Yes, maybe health, disease and Corona nowadays, right? coronavirus because nowadays as we are moving through the pandemic COVID-19 situation. Yes? Actually this chapter why do we fall ill is a correct apt chapter to learn as you are going to study about some of the major bacterial diseases, viral diseases, protozoal diseases. Okay, so the main topics to be covered in this lessons are significance of health, factors affecting health, health and disease free, different types of diseases, then treatment methods, then principles of prevention. So these are the topics which we are going to learn in this chapter in detail. Okay, so what is health or why do we need good health? Yes. So there is a saying, health is wealth. So what is, you see, when we are not healthy, whether we will be able to perform all the activities in a good manner? Yeah, so we will not be able to perform well, right? We will not be able to do any work. We will not to showcase our talents very well. So for everything, for any work to do, we need what? Health. So we can define health as a state of physical, mental and social well-being. So it's a, a collection of physical, mental and social well-being. So physically if you are fit, you cannot say that you are healthy. Yeah. Mentally if you are fit, you cannot say that you are healthy. Socially only you are fit, you cannot say. It's a combination. So health is a state of physical, mental and social well-being. And there are conditions necessary for good health. Right? Or there may be factors which affect health. So such factors you can see here. Good physical and social environment is must. See, physically we should be good enough as well as socially also. Yes. So, social environment includes like uh, even cleaning surroundings, good sanitation, proper garbage disposal, clean drinking water. Yes. And nowadays people are a little more conscious and concerned about our health as we are all moving through the pandemic COVID-19 situations. People started looking after their body and uh, like hygiene and all is being given nowadays more importance. Right. Then good economic conditions economically means economically also we should be uh, well set up right so it includes job opportunities yeah money then nutrition food so there are people uh, still now who are not getting any enough food or they are not getting balanced diet it may lead to malnutrition right so that that in that cases we cannot tell that they are healthy so good economic conditions to be provided to all then social equality and harmony social equality and harmony in the sense that everyone should be treated equally yeah there should not be a, a barrier or there should not be difference between the male or a female a poor or a rich person so everyone should be treated and there should not be any fight between each other everyone should lead a happy and peaceful life then only we can say that we are uh, healthy, right? So everyone should lead a happy life. So these are some of the factors or conditions necessary for good health. So what are the differences between healthy and disease free? So healthy and disease free, are they same? No, there are some differences, yeah? So healthy, it's a state of physical, mental and social well-being. So it's a, as already told, it's a collection, right? So along with physical, mentally and socially, all the three, if it is equal only, we can say that a person or somebody is healthy. 
then disease free means that it's a state of absence from diseases if there is no disease to that particular person yes then we can call that they are disease free right then healthy it also refers to the individual and physical and social environment and it uh, disease free it refers to only to that particular individual the individual has good health in the healthy case and disease free the individual may have good health or poor health that at present whether they have the diseases or not okay so these are the main differences uh, between the healthy and disease free so what does disease look like see if a person is having or affected or is having any diseases see by seeing if it is a, a a major disease by seeing that person itself we can understand by seeing that person their body shows some signs right yeah their body shows some signs their face or their uh, eyes will be uh, yes red in color or nose if they have a, a severe cold yeah or severe fever by seeing that person itself will come to know or the person body shows some signs that they are having some diseases right yes or no yeah so symptoms or the signs of diseases are things we feel as being wrong something is wrong that is what the signs shown by the body right so if you have a headache or if you have cough or if you have loose motions if you have a wound with pus so these all are the symptoms so these indicates that, that there is there may be a disease but they don't indicate that what the disease is right so by seeing the symptoms we will get an idea what may be the diseases so doctors always when we go to the hospital they always ask for the symptoms yeah then they will come to a particular decision on they then after particular test they will confirm the diseases okay so on the basis of the symptoms the physicians the doctors looks for the signs of a particular disease and conduct test also yeah in the case of blood test urine test yeah so conduct test to confirm the diseases okay now we need to know different types of diseases so there are different types of diseases and one is being here given that is acute disease and chronic disease actually this diseases is being classified based on the time duration yeah the time period so acute disease are the disease which last only for a short period of time and does not have any long term effect on health means what this see for a, co a common cold so it may last in the body for 5 to 6 days or may maximum for 5 to 7 to 8 days right so if we have a common cold see uh, if you are having a common cold and after uh, during your any uh, on a vacations or christmas vacation and after reopening you are coming to school nobody can identify you, uh, that you were having any cold because it was it, it doesn't create any long term effect in your body yeah so and it will be lasting only for few days a short period of time right so acute diseases are the diseases which last only for a short period of time okay so it's also known as short term disease and chronic disease see chronic diseases are diseases which last for a long time and has long term drastic effect on health for example if a person is have it's diabetes for a long period of time see by their body will be lean enough tired yeah then tuberculosis yeah continuous comes their lungs will be affected so by seeing that person's body itself will come to know that yes that person is having some chronic illness elephantiasis then arthritis then cancer so these are some of the diseases which will be lasting for a long period of time or sometimes even till death okay so if a disease is lasting in a body for a long period of time definitely there may be an effect on the health also okay so chronic means which lasts for long period of time it's a long term disease 
okay so the diseases which is classified based on the time duration that is the acute disease and chronic disease acute disease the short term disease and the chronic diseases are the long term disease now we need to study about infectious disease non infectious disease and all which will be discussed in the next video thank you